48 million Americans a year get sick from eating contaminated food. This year alone, you may recall, a salmonella outbreak from cantaloupe killed three people and sickened more than 250 others in 24 states. Another 42 people in 20 states got salmonella from an outbreak that started in an organic peanut butter plant. A new test is making it faster and easier to diagnose food poisoning. However, the test could also make it harder to track the source of the contamination. With us now is Dr. Thomas Frieden. He is director of the Centers for Disease Control in Atlanta. Doctor, good morning. Good morning. What's the difference in the new test and the old test? Really, the new test is both good news and bad news. Mm. It will be quicker for doctors and patients. It will identify potentially even more organisms, but we could lose essential information that allows us to track the spread of germs, that allows us to say whether the salmonella or shigella or other infection that one person has is linked to the infection that another person has. And because of that, it may allow us, really, it may prevent us from identifying outbreaks and stopping them early. So is that really in advance? Well, it, as, as I say, it's both good news and bad news. It's better in the short term for an individual patient, individual doctor, but it's going to create new challenges. And we're working with the companies and with the Food and Drug Administration to try to make sure that we don't lose that critical information that would allow us to identify outbreaks early and stop them. Does the CDC have a position on all this? Well, what we'd like to do is make sure that as new technologies like this are introduced, we don't have unintended negative consequences. At CDC, we work 24-7 to protect people from threats. And to do that, we need good information. Some of that information comes from an old-fashioned test of growing up a bacteria in a laboratory, subjecting it to DNA fingerprinting to figure out exactly which strain it is and whether it's related to another strain, and then doing the shoe leather epidemiology to figure out if two people have the same organism, did they eat the same food, what was that food, and getting that food off the shelves. So I think as we move forward, in the short term, we need to make sure we don't lose that information. In the medium and long term, we think that similar technologies, which can actually go into a specimen and sequence the genome, what's called whole genome sequencing, which we hope to be doing in public health regularly in a few years, will not only allow us to avoid that problem, but actually get us even better information down the line. Okay, and the best way to protect ourselves, doctor, is how? Four things to remember. Keep your hot foods hot, keep your cold foods cold. Don't mix your uncooked and your cooked foods and wash your hands regularly. You do those four things, you can reduce your risk of food poisoning dramatically. All right, Dr. Frieden, thank you for the advice.